guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Daniela and in today's video I'm bringing you a super affordable drugstore spring makeup look. I am so obsessed with how this look came out. I don't play around with colorful eyeshadows as I've mentioned before, but I love the color purple and I feel like it's one of those colors that like looks so good on everybody and as an eyeshadow I am obsessed with the holographic color that I have on my eyes right now. Everything just turned out so perfectly. I am so happy I decided to do this spring look for you guys. So yeah without further ado if you guys want to see how I created this spring makeup look then just keep on watching. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because you guys have seen that step a bunch of times and I think you guys know what I'm using by now. It is the e.l.f. eyeliner and brow pomade. I swear by this stuff. If you've never tried it, you definitely should. Mine is in dark brown. It's super creamy and it makes the eyebrows last all day. So to prime my eyelids, I'm just gonna be using the e.l.f. sheer eye primer. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Profusion Festival Palette. I found this one at Walmart. You can also find Profusion online and I believe at some like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but they're a really good brand when it comes to eyeshadows. They're super pigmented and easy to use pigmented and easy to use but this is what the festival palette looks like it has tons of fun colors but it also has the neutrals for you to use in transition shades or if you just want to do a neutral eyeshadow look you definitely can with this palette let's start with using this color right here it's like a burnt orange and it's called beat I'm going to be using that on a Luna Magic eyeshadow blending brush. And I'm just going to place that on my crease. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more so you guys can really see what I'm doing. All right, now that we're up close and personal, let's continue with the eyeshadow. So I'm still just placing that burnt orange shadow onto my crease and blending it out. So using the same eye brush, I'm going to pick up my next color, which is going to be the shade up here. This one is like a pinkish mauveish color and it is called Playlist. So I'm just going back and forth between that mauve shade and the first burnt orange shade that we used to really blend it into the crease and make sure we have seamless transitions. Now I'm gonna pick up a smaller blending brush. This one I just got from Amazon in like a brush bundle. And I am going to grab a darker pink now. This one down here is called Totally. And with the smaller blending brush, I'm going to pick that up and really focus this color on my outer V and like the crease area. So I'm gonna start out here. These colors are so pigmented, you guys. It's such a great find. So if you see it at Walmart, if you see the palette at Marshalls, grab it because Profusion has really good shadows for such an inexpensive price. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to do a purple like glitter on my eyelid or if I want to do a champagne glitter on my eyelid. So I'm going to show you both of the colors. This is what they look like. Super pretty. I'm leaning more towards this one right here, which is the purple glitter on the top. That one is called Fanny Pack. So let me put some concealer on my eyelids and then we'll apply the glitter. I'm just grabbing a small AOA brush and my concealer. I have two different eye shapes and I don't cut my crease often because I feel like it accentuates the fact that I have two different eye shapes. <laughs> but when I do, I feel like I love how the shadows come out. So I have that down and now I'm actually probably and most likely going to just mix the two colors, the purple glitter and the champagne glitter. But first, let's start off with the purple glitter. Again, it's the color up here on the palette and it is called 
fanny pack right here. I'm now going to spray my brush because I want to see how good this shadow is by itself. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see that? It's like a holographic shadow. That shadow is so pretty. I'm gonna try it with my finger too. Also you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I have a white eyelash. It's the craziest thing. Can you guys see it? Right there. It's so crazy, I never realized that. And I keep cutting it because it grows so long in comparison to my other lashes. I cut it and within a couple of days, it's super long again. It's driving me crazy. I don't wanna plug it because I feel like it is going to hurt me or maybe cause like a sty or something. Is that ignorant of me? Probably. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this for now and I'm going to move on to eyeliner and lashes and kind of like step away from the eyes for a little bit just to see how everything looks once I have the lashes on and the eyeliner. So for eyeliner, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. liquid liner in black. Moving on, let's do lashes. I found these at Walmart too. These are the Kiss So Wispy lashes. This is what they look like. Super wispy, super fluffy. I feel like they're gonna go really well with the eye look because I don't want anything too thick or like too full to take away from the eyeshadow basically. So I think these are gonna work perfectly. So I'm just prepping my lashes. I am using my strip lash from Kiss. You guys know, I swear by this glue. It is so good. For mascara, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. This is the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. Let me apply a coat of this. As I wait for my lash glue to get tacky and be ready for the lashes to be put on, I'm going to move on to the complexion. So let me zoom you guys out so you guys can see the whole thing. I have two primers that I really want to use today. The e.l.f. Mint Primer. I have heard really good things about this and I tried it once and it has that same consistency as the Milk Hydro Grip, I think it's called, primer. But this one is like $8. The Milk one, I think it's like 30 or more. And I also found this Milani Chill Out Soothing Primer. Wow Oat Extract and Ceramid is silicone free. So this one looks like this. Um, I think I'm gonna try both because why not? So let's put the e.l.f. one on first just for that like gripping uh, consistency and to make the makeup last all day. And then I'm going to put the Milani Chill Out Primer on top. It feels so good. It's so cooling on the skin. As I wait for the primers to kind of just like sink into my face, I'm going to apply my lashes. I think they're ready to be put on. If you guys see any of that white, don't worry, the lash glue does dry clear. But look how pretty these lashes are, you guys. They're super fluffy and they were so easy to put on. Now that I think the primer has set into my skin, let's move on to the foundation. So um, I am going to be trying the CoverGirl Outlast. I have not tried this before. I have two shades, Caramel Beige 856 and Soft Honey. This is what they look like. I'll bring it closer so you guys can really see. So these are the foundations I'm going to be trying out. I think I am closer to caramel beige. So let's start with that one and let's see how it looks. Oh, I think this color is gonna be way too light for me. Okay, so let's not freak out. Let's blend it in and if anything, I can just uh, use my e.l.f. Camel CC Cream because that one is a little bit too dark for me. So let's see. Mm, 
it has like a very paint scent the foundation good coverage so far i would say it's like medium and i'm not sure if i said i'm using it on a real techniques sponge is this driving anybody else crazy <laughs> because it's certainly driving me crazy but i can't do anything until it's dry otherwise i risk messing up my shadow and i don't want to do that i feel like it's a tad bit light like one shade too light for me so what i'm going to do is just use my elf camo cc cream because like i said it's a little bit darker this is in the color medium 375 i've used this before and i love it but it's a little bit too dark for me so let's see if mixing it makes this foundation color a little bit better and that worked perfectly let me take off this mascara over here i'm just using the first blending brush that i was using and let's try to blend this out i just used a spoolie to take off the mascara little mistake that i had on this side and then i used that same blending brush that i was using earlier for the shadow to blend everything in for concealer i am going to be using my covergirl true blend undercover concealer you guys know i have two shades this one is in warm honey and this one is in warm nude this is what they look like as you guys can see the warm nude it's a little bit more peachy so i like to mix the two to get my perfect shade the complexion is looking so flawless i love the combination of those two foundations they worked really well together i was a little scared that they weren't going to just be completely opposites but they worked well together i also have the primer so maybe that's why but i'm really happy with how the makeup is looking so far so for baking i'm going to mix the air spun this is an oldie but a goodie I just hate the packaging and gets everywhere. You guys will probably see white on my hair in like two seconds when I open this. But then I'm going to mix it with the Fit Me Maybelline one as well. I put both of those in the cap here and I do a little swirl to make sure that the colors are blended. And then I'm going to grab my Real Techniques sponge and bake. For contouring, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring. This one is in Dulce de Leche. It's a really big pan and it's super inexpensive. And I'm just gonna be using an e.l.f. brush to contour my face. There's so much powder everywhere. I'm sorry if you guys can see that on camera, but I'm going to remove this bake with an e.l.f. fluffy brush like this one. Keep in mind that I have really oily skin, so I like to apply a lot of powder. You don't have to at all, but that's just what I like to do. I am going to set my face with my favorite powder. It is the L'Oreal Infallible. It looks like this. It's the press powder. It works really well for me and it keeps me matte all day. And I'm just using that with a Kabuki brush from e.l.f. to bring some color back into my face. For blush, you guys, I have been loving the e.l.f. putty blushes. They are so good. e.l.f. is just killing it lately with all the makeup that is coming out. But this is what they look like. I'm not sure what colors I have because they don't tell you the color on the pan. It only has the color on like the cardboard packaging. But of course, these will be listed down below for you guys. I'm going to use this one just because I have a fun spring look going on. And I have been loving applying them with this Real Techniques buffing brush. So I'm just going to go straight into the pan and i apply to my cheekbones and you guys these are so good if you have not tried these putty blushes you need to go and get your hands on these because they are going to be so perfect for the summertime i know you're not supposed to apply you know creams on top of powders 
but for some reason these putty blushes it like doesn't make a difference if you apply it before if you apply it after powder they work so so well and if you go overboard with the blush like i just did because i love blush just use your powder brush and go over it so let's apply a little bit of brow gel because i had a lot of powders flying through my face i'm just going to be using the wet and wild brow obsessive brow shaping gel in the color brown my camera cut off, but I was just putting on the lower lash shadow. I applied totally like I showed you guys. And then I went ahead with my telescopic mascara. I put some on the bottom lash line. And I also used my Milani eyeliner in my waterline. So let's add some inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna be using the champagne color that I wanted to use in the beginning this one right here it is called DJ so let's put some on the inner corner here okay so I'm going to use my liquid liner again and I'm just gonna add a little like flick to my inner corner to finish off the look let's do the lips you guys I got this Milani Amore satin matte lip cream this one is a matte satin and it is in the color velvet 09 so let's put this on So this is what the Milani lip cream looks like, but I think I want a little gloss. So I'm going to add the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu. This is what it looks like, just for a little gloss and to lighten up the lip as well. I almost forgot you guys, I got this Heart Candy Sheer and Be Matte Setting Spray. This is supposed to be the 12 hour wear and oil control minimizing pore mattifying setting spray. I hope this doesn't do me, you know, as dirty as the other setting spray that I used in my last video, but let's try it. Let me shake it up and just make sure I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing to, you know, make sure it doesn't spray really ugly on my face. <laughs> let's try this. And that's it you guys that concludes this spring makeup tutorial i'm honestly so obsessed with this profusion palette are you kidding me this like purple holographic color is to die for i'm so obsessed and i'm so glad i decided to go with that color instead of like that champagne because it turned out so good the shadows blended really easily they you know blend it together really well too because there's nothing worse than when you put two eyeshadows together like two transition colors together and they just blend horribly or they don't blend at all but that eyeshadow palette 10 out of 10 would recommend and i also love the complexion it turned out super flawless so obsessed with this look for the springtime and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well as always thank you so much for all the support and for watching my videos please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and also leave me in the comments below what look you would like me to try next and i will definitely recreate that thank you guys and i'll see you soon